How's it going, guys? It's Rad, and this is the SmackDown review. The reason it took so long to make this review is because, to be honest, I actually didn't watch SmackDown Tuesday because I was on the air at my school because I'm in college for radio broadcasting, and I'm actually going in tonight, so that's why I'm all showered up and nicely dressed. So yeah, and, and for a change, I'm not actually recording this in my car. I'm actually recording in my wrestling room, as you can see right there. So yeah. So yeah, SmackDown review. I'll try and review it to the best of what I've watched and read. And try and get my honest thoughts of it. So we had Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens with each other. Congratulating each other, you know, on Kevin's victory at Hell in a Cell. You know, Daniel Bryan came out. You know, they can't, they called Daniel Bryan a hypocrite. The ultimate hypocrite. And then Daniel Bryan proceeded to put up those two in a match against Randy Orton and Shinsuke Nakamura. Also, at one point, we also had a segment of Carmella once again treating James Ellsworth like a dog again, making him drink out of a water bowl like a dog. It's like, this is fucking stupid. What the fuck is this? So, yeah. That, yeah, next we had Charlotte, Naomi, and Becky Lynch be defeat Natalia, Lana, and Tamina with Carmella at ringside. No. Oh, wow. Oh, well, it's a women's six women's tag match. So, what? Next, we had Sin Cara defeat Baron Corbin by countout. So, now they're making Corbin look like shit as the U.S. champion. Because, don't ever make a top heel serious. They never will. The only time a heel will ever look serious is if he's a fucking chicken shit. Every time a serious heel, a heel is serious, they don't win all the fucking time. Look at Bray Wyatt, for example. That's a good one. Next, we had Jinder Mahal officially challenge Brock Lesnar to a match at rest at Survivor Series. He Jinder Mahal was the biggest fucking idiot on the fucking face of this planet. Why the fuck would you challenge Lesnar? Like, how the fuck is this a good match? If you want to see my honest thoughts of this match, made a rant video l earlier last week. That will give you my honest thoughts of it. Like, this match is gonna suck. Who fucking who fucking asked for this match? Then Jinder goes on saying he beat everybody on SmackDown Live. Then AJ Styles comes out, says, says he never beat you, says Jinder never beat him, and challenged him for a title match. That'll probably be at like Roadblock or Clash Champions or whatever the next SmackDown pay per view is after Survivor Series. Next up, not much happened. It was just a quiet night on SmackDown. You know, there was. Oh yeah, Dolph Ziggler beat Bobby Roode the same way Roode beat Dolph, grabbing the tights for a roll up. Who cares? We also had our main event: Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn defeated Shinsuke Nakamura and Randy Orton. So yay, congrats! You know it was sort of obvious because of Zayn's heel turn. They want to build as much heat momentum with Zayn as possible. So yeah, with that, also it's announced that Shane McMahon will be back on SmackDown Live next week. To discuss what he's going to do with Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. So yeah. That's the episode of Smackdown for you this week. From what I read and what I watched in the highlight reel. I'm about to give this a rating. Hmm. It was meh. I'll give it a 4 out of 10. It wasn't that good. And it wasn't that bad. It was meh. You know it's Smackdown. They're always better than Raw. Oh well. You know that's all I got to say. That's that's my review. Talk to you all later. Bye.